Yo, it is so late. <laughs> Not really. I pulled up to the mall 30 minutes before it closed, man. So we about to go inside and see what's popping. We're gonna see if we can get a uh, take a look at those winterized uh 14s, see if they're available, but I doubt it. So first stop is gonna be a foot locker. Let's make it. Yo, it is late. It is so late. They got these in here. The house of hoops, Jordan one. Lows, man. The jean, the denim jean joints. What y'all think about these? From outsole. They also got the Oreo joints, which I pass politely. Politely pass. Don't need these. And we also got the sixes. Four of those sixes, man, which I do have. I think these are five. I like these. Say what? Yo, now I'm in foot action, man. Guess what I found, y'all? These shell lights, aces for 40 beans. Remember, I've been talking about this for a good minute. The material in there is good, and then for 40 beans, they're on sale, man. So you know I'm gonna have to inquire about these, see if they got my size. I'm in the back wall, or the back of the store, at the back wall to see if they got anything that's uh, not in the front of the store. They still got these air rays for um, 90 beans. They also got the ray gun joints as well, which I have seen in the outlets. That's pretty much it. These has grown on me. They're going for 100 beans now. I actually like the gray and black colorway for 109. This is fire, I like that. They still got these winterized 12s though. In the building, look at the kid sizes. That's the only thing that's left here. Small joints, retail gang, but it's still available. And these 13s. Clearly these are kids or women's. Um, they're cool, not a fan of them. I love 13s, but not this colorway though. And lastly, they got these fours, they're cool. I like them, I ain't gonna front. Patent leather, you know I'm a sucker for patent leather. These are dope. They're also available, what they going for? 150 is the price, but they definitely use. And we know these are available everywhere, even outlets, man, if y'all care for them. These are used, four and a half. What they going for, four and a half. Side, what they going for, four and a half. 140 is the price, yup, 140. Here we go, man. Where are these? Here's one of the Zoom Comforts. They are. They're females. I like them, though. 140. Definitely not to wear it. Not to rock, though. But I think I appreciate it for a woman. Definitely appreciate these. Uh, 140 is the price. They're blue, royal blue, sail, and brown. They're cool. So I'm in Champs right now. I still got a few shoes available, like these uh, sixes. They're still available. We just left Foot Lock and we saw those. And they also got the 11 lows as well. Look like they got multiple pairs, man. These 11 lows IE. I take that back. The bread 11 lows IE. You guys care for them. 175, man. Greek Freaks is already $100, y'all. That was quick, man. They came from 120 to $99. I actually like this colorway. It's island green colorway, but I like this Nerf colorway a lot better. Sorry, man, that trick daddy was loud in my ear. 120 surprise. Okay. So I'm in JD Sports. You got the mustard. <laughs> One loads, bro. These are different, man. I have never seen or heard anything about these. Oh, is that yellow outsole? No, nah, it's a road band outsole. Gun bottom outsole. This is crazy, y'all. They're size 10 and a half. I think they're women's, though. So all the ladies. We like these uh these condiment style colors, yo. Here you go. Are they women's only? They're women's. Okay, that's what I thought. And they got one size of the eight and a half Jordan IE low bread. Right, here you go. Thank you. You still got those everywhere I went today. I had these joints, Bordeaux sixes, which is dope in my opinion. You see them still on shelves. Dope shoe. The fact that anybody want them, they can get them still. Also, they got these joints. Air Jordan 11 IE. A few people hit me in the comments like, yo, Frank Grab, yo, they're still available in my state, my city, Orlando, 175. Now I'm not sure what size runs they have, but they're available. They're still available. They also got these joints, the Carmine Sixes, but these in youth though. Nike on the back here, which is dope. I'm glad. Don't see no yelling of the midsole or rather pinkish on the midsole. Front and toe cap, a little bit of uh, pink hue and also on the outsole as well. But anyway, this is a youth pair. They're still in the building. That's dope, man. Love to see uh, shoes sitting. But I just need them to go on sale and be in my size, and I'll be happy. What's good, y'all? It's about time, yo. I'm finally en route to Ultima Springs Mall, man. I've been trying to get out there for the last week. And I'm finally en route. A little bit late. A little bit later than I, I want, man, because uh, coming back home, I have to face rush hour traffic. I'm not a fan of uh, I-4 and the congestion of uh cars it's like a parking lot out there man but anyways man let's make it man let's get this day started it's a beautiful day because the previous vlog you saw me was uh saturday night um i wanted to save that footage because i want to see if i can luck up on some air jordan 14s i don't think i want to cop but i do want to see them in person so the goal is to see if we can find those shoes sitting because we already know what's sitting the air jordan 6 portos 
the Near Jordan 11 IE breads, those are sitting. And occasionally, you may find a Ossidian here and there. So let's see what Ultima Spring Mall got to offer, yo. I'll see y'all in a bit. Peace. Bro, I haven't been made it yet. I'm in traffic, yo. <laughs> 10 to 15 minutes in my trip, man. I already hit a, a brick wall. I4, bro. I4. Yo, maybe today wasn't a good idea to head to Ultimate Springs, bro. <laughs> yo, I hate traffic, man. I hate traffic. Yo, how many guys watch my Air Jordan 1 mini collection? I show you guys like one one fifth of my shoes. Anyways, these were not in, in that collection vid. These are the Air Jordan 1 Dover Street Market joints. Patent leather. All on all the above, y'all. <laughs> these are dope. We here, y'all. We here. Ultimate Mall. I think it's gonna be called Ultimate Springs Mall. But I'm tripping, I ain't from this side of town, so. I ain't gonna make up no name. Okay, I get it. If you guys been watching my videos for a while, you already know the routine. The first stop is gonna be Hibbit Sports. Then right after that, it's gonna be um, Foot Locker because they're right across the hall from each other. All right, we in here. Whole bunch of slides, which I don't care for no more. But I do like those New Balance up there though. Okay, the dude got the Air Jordan 1s in here. I had a homie who uh, visited Houston, he texted me. Like, yo, Frank, when you cop these, I was on FaceTime, so I was like, yo, I, I guess they look dope. But in hand, oh man, the mid is a little bit different, bro. That that mid look like it looked like a it looked like a cut between the low and the mid. I don't think it's a quite a mid, but I like the patent leather on it. You already know. I like patent leather on shoes. And I love that also. Did it just put patent leather on the presto on a toe cap? <laughs> That's different. I also like these cool gray Air Max 95 as well. These are dope. These are fire. 170 is the price. That's retail game. Get your lightning slides, y'all. <laughs> what I like about Hibbit Sports, man, they also carry some Michelin uh clothing as well. You got the Bull shorts, San Antonio Spurs shorts, the 76ers, and that infrared. You got the Georgetown away, or maybe home away shorts magics and so on and so forth then we got the charlotte jersey as well the johnson jersey number two that's dope all right so let's slide over to a foot locker see what's popping inside there these are kids yeah they're mids apparently yeah six y okay what y'all think about these other ones on the wall there's like a four and a half in the orange ones and then we have like a graffiti kind of one over there well, i think i know exactly which one. they're white mm -hmm. okay white and black okay i think with you what you talking about? All right, so they got the Oreo fives in here. Um, behind the counter, we saw those Air Jordan One Mids, but there was Kids and also the Bardos as well. Might be the only pair in here. Oreo fives. I think that's what they call them, right? Oreo fives. Size eleven and a half. Okay. NBA Blazers. We just saw these in the Nike outlet, but it's going for retail though. Got a full size one. They're cheap over here. Hundred beans. They still got the nineties, the Kring Good Free joints. He's still available. Regular retail and for kids they got the oreo fives as well i'm not sure what actual size but they youth though you know what i mean and also got the 12 winter eyes which i'm not a fan of we saw those sitting in uh foot action and over here they got the fours the kid fours with the patent leather and they also got the one mids as well see-through translucent swoosh and the vault air jordan wings logo and then above it they got these i was never a fan yo keep these in kids yeah keep these joints in kids Here's the Bordeaux sixes, size eight. Look at the only shoe in the building here. I like these, man. I'm not sure why these are wildly available. I hope they just mass produce them. I would love to catch these on sale, man. Below 190, that would be dope, that would make me love them even more. All right, so we got Champs on the left-hand side, and then we got uh, JD Sports on the right-hand side. I might just walk into Champs first, kind of switch up the monotony of always going to the same stores in the same order. So let's follow in the Champs, see what they got. Nothing much, only basketball shoes. We got the Kyrie's joint. The toned down colorways, the LeBrons. These are the low joints right here. And then you got the Greek Freaks. 
the newest colorway. I call this the Nerf colorway. I like this colorway. They're already on sale for $99. Even the LeBron's, the Laker colorway is on sale. The Lowe's, all black joints right there. PG's is also on sale for $99. Beans. USA colorway. For some odd reason, I like this colorway though. I like that. And lastly, you got these bronze colorway. Nine nine beans. Not a fan of that. Oh, you got more. Oh, that's nine nine dollars too. Oh wow. Fly over to the Puma section. Puma, I'm not mad at you, man. Some of these colorways are dope. But the shoes just seem, seems kind of bulky though. I guess these are females right here. Yeah, Puma. Females. Oh, these are different. Up tempo joints. 160 females. You got the bold colorway black and white with a pink swoosh in the toe box 160 they're different fair god joint i like this orange yo size 718 major league baseball logo on the back how it looks nice not sure how much they're going for though oh there's more right here there's a green oh they got me black Ooh, they got in the navy too as well they got in the navy 65 beans y'all okay <laughs> Go check these 100 beans for these. These are kamikazes, I think. Yep, for Sean Kemp's. 95 on the back there. Multiple different colors. A little bit of gum outsole, a little bit of lime green. That's Slimer green, Ghostbuster green. It's Nerf on the tongue. Teal, rope laces. Different, different. Reeboks for $50. Blue and white colorway. And that red and white colorway. That's what I'm talking about. I still got the green joints. Do I got the green ones? I don't know if I got the green ones. The purple ones for $29. That's crazy. They've all been the same price. Man, y'all remember Cross Colors, bro? This was a 90 clothing brand, bro. They brought them back. Black Life Matter for Peace. Institution of Higher Learning, I'm assuming. Yup. They're different. What's good? Yeah, yeah. That's different. This supposed to be the logo back in the days right here. What was their staple was loud, bright colors. I remember having a green pants. That's a rock. Yo, champs that had nothing, bro. Nothing at all. Anyways, got fall into JD Sports. Yeah. JD Sports, yeah. What in the world are these? They're making Zoom Comforts and Mids now? That's different. Look like they got the Oreo 5s here as well. Ear Max section. Vapor Mac, this EVI, I don't even know, man. <laughs> so apparently, oh shoot, I thought that was somebody squatting down. <laughs> apparently they don't got my size, but they got a size 10, so I'm gonna take a look at those. While we wait for sure to bring the shoes back, man, they still got these Air Max one joints here, man. Orange and the teal colorway. These do remind me of the silver bullets, but just a hit of purple though. Different, but similar. So here's the Air Jordan 1 Zoom Comfort, coming in the black box. It comes in the brown box like uh, my other Zoom Comforts comes in. These are different. I don't even know these come out. These supposed to be the bread. Cut out foam heel, red outsole. The leather is trash though. It is trash, I ain't gonna lie. But the Zoom Comfort and bread. It's really not bread, yeah. It's all black mid midsole and black toe. So that's the closest red and black you're gonna get for Air Jordan 1. Currently, currently, until the patent leather ones comes out. Nike Zoom on the tongue as well. That's different. Also in the back, man, they got the light and fours, but they're gray school though. Look like it's a size five. They got three of these, all small sizes. They got the ones Barcelona's and they got the 11 IE breads, man. I want those Barcelona's, but they do not have my size. So a size below and a size above my size sucks. And that's everywhere we've been. They still got these sitting, but they're for great school stuff. I don't see adult sizes in these. Here's your 12s, when rise, then the Oreo fives. Whoa, you sizes. Yeah, I do like these Barclays, but I talk about that every video I make, man. When I see these, they're still 160. This are the Air Max 2 CB94s, man. I love this cool gray color with a hit of orange in the back here. That's fire to me. I will rock them, even today. And they got the USA colorway as well, but I'm not a fan of this, so I'm in. I like the colorway, but just not that colorway. Ooh, the leather on the toe box is hard, though. Damn. Look what they got, the pollen ones. Even though these are not hitting too much over with retail, but these are definitely youth, man. Real small sizes. I'm assuming it's real small sizes. They don't have the Nike Air on the tongue. That's upsetting. We got the 13 Obsidians. I'm gonna give this a pass because they're, they're youth and these are obviously for girls. Or some boys, I guess. Another shoe I like are these Reggie Millers, bro. The white and green. That green just popped just right. And the material looks decent. But it's a 90 basketball shoe, man. So I don't know how comfortable and will I would want to wear this in this era, in this day and time, man. I'm trying to stay away from bulky shoes, bro. Like, I was since my homie, but not personally, but you know what I mean? I rock with the homies. Love his shoes. One of my favorite basketball shoes of all time. But now that new shoes, a new tech has come out, there's a lot of shoes lighter. They're more durable than those. So if I ain't rocking on the basketball court, which I'm definitely not doing, I'm most likely ain't gonna rock them casually. Yo, 
I'm in Liz right now. This Orlando Magic hat is fire, bro. This is dope, man. It's seventh and one fourth. Homie said they came in today. The they only got two hats. These are the only two they have in the building. Yo, if they make other uh, teams, which they should, which they should, hope they make it with the same colorway, you know what I mean? With the olive green, with the, ooh, that's fire, man. Mobbed my logo a little bit the way I have it. Mm, I actually, I'm taking some, some pointers from this. This, this, this is a must have. I need this colorway. I need those hits in the same spot for like a Brooklyn Nets, a Magic. This is dope, bro. What are they hitting for? What is it hitting for? $41, I pay that. Fire. Man, it's a wrap, yo. I went to one, two, three, four different stores, man. I went to Hibbert, which is right there. I went to Foot Locker, which is right over there. I went to JD Sports. I went to Champs. I did pick up something from Foot Locker. Um, sweater, you know how I do. But that's it, man. That's all. I think I'm done for the day. I'll take it to the hole. Take it to the hole. I'll take it to the crib and edit this video. And I'm back in the sneaker office, man. I appreciate you guys for watching all the way through. Salute to y'all. Y'all already know why y'all here, man. Because I'm going to wrap it up. But before I wrap it up, let's give a quick recap of the two malls I visited. I visited Florida Mall like at night because I wanted to see what those... Jordan 14's Winter Rise, I believe that's what they're being called. And I did not get my hands on them, nor did I get to see them. I didn't even try on the sneaker app. I didn't even try. I think I did try on the uh, Foot Locker app to reserve a pair, but obviously I struck out, didn't win. But nevertheless, man, what I did find was a whole bunch of shoes readily available for people to cop. Like for instance, for instance, these Air Jordan 11 bread IEs, there was wildly available, man. Like in every store I went to, Foot Locker, Champs, and even JD Sports, they had them available sitting on both days, the Florida Mall when I went at night, and also the Ultimate Mall that was available there and a few stores. Another shoe that was available were these. These are the Bordeaux Sixes, Bordeaux Sixes. I like these shoes. I saw them in Foot Locker. I saw these and also, I should, the Foot Locker at Ultima Springs, but in the Florida Mall, that night vlog, there was pretty much in every store. Like I mentioned, the Foot Lockers, the Champs, and the JD Sports. Dope shoe, man. I'm not sure why people don't like this. I like it. Is it because of uh, too close to the Bordeaux Sevens and the, that was the original colorway? But it's almost fair to say you won't see this colorway in this shoe no time soon. Remember that. And that's all I have for you guys, man. I appreciate you guys for watching. If you like what you just saw, oh, do me a favor. Go back and watch my Air Jordan mini collection it's pretty much a small percentage of the jordan ones i had them laying right here i still have a, the same shoes i shot laying right here i was doing that got them video so that's why i never put them back up so i was like let me just show what i have but let me know if you guys still want to see the full length collection a lot of you guys already chime in about how you guys want me to shoot it probably get benny again to help me shoot it um some of y'all don't mind when i do the talking heads and show each individual shoot like i just did just now but anyways, as I figure that out, man, keep watching the videos as always. If you're new and you like what you just saw, hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that notification bell as well. And everyone, keep leaving those comments down below and your boy get back to you as soon as possible. Until then, till we meet again, you already know my slogan. Good to go. It's a wrap. Peace. New shoes. Man, where's my man? I forgot to mention. Oh, this is the sweater I copped that Foot Locker, man. Champion. Reverse weave, heather gray, sweater. Well, well, the logo on the back. With the logo on the back. All right, I'm out. <laughs> Peace.